In this video, I'll be doing a pre-trip inspection on this Chevy Suburban behind me. Let's get right into it. Pre-trip inspections, they're very important for overlanding and I'm just gonna do a couple of the, the key points that I usually will go over um, when I'm checking our car. This is a 2005 Suburban and it has over 300,000 miles. Just to give you reference of the mileage this thing's got on it. Um, some of your vehicles may be brand new or you know whatever, um, but regardless of the year or if it's new or used, you still should always uh, check your car. And so I'll show you a couple things I do. Tip number one is check your fluids. And so in this car, just like many, you've got coolant, transmission fluid, oil, brake fluid, and power steering fluid. So here is the uh, coolant reservoir, and it is under pressure, but so I can see, if you come over here, right there is the full level, right there, and so it's full. So the next fluid we're gonna check is oil. So your engine oil is usually a yellow um, on there. And then I don't have any paper towels with me, so I'll just be all cool and just, my wife's gonna love me doing that. But so you get it right there. On this dipstick, you see like the little holes? Yeah. So it's gonna fill up, this is full right there. And from here to here is a quart. And so if you're not hitting the dipstick, you're at least about a quart and a half low. So we'll see what's going on with this guy. So you put it down the hole. All right, we are good. It's a little overfilled, but um, that's variable it's waiting anyway so you're some somewhere around there is where you want it so we're good we're gonna oil uh, next one is transmission fluid that is the red one it's usually red on every car this one is more tough there's a, there's more involved you have to have the car running and in park and you have to run it through the gears and then after that you can check it but on this one same tip same type of thing so you would wipe it down and then those holes hot so there's a hot and a cold on transmission and um, we're not going to check it you know with the car running and stuff right now but that's how that that that's the dipstick so that procedure um, again the car has to be running and in park and then the next one i'll show you next fluid is oh i forgot windshield wash washer fluid you know, it's good to have for sure. And I'm just gonna, I don't have any fluid with me, but um, I can eyeball that. Down here is your power steering fluid. Now this has a leak, I know. So I'm actually putting, I'm topping off power steering. Same type of thing here. You're gonna get um, hot and cold usually. So there's cold and then hot. This is an aftermarket dipstick, but it's gonna be up here. And so anyway, you'll just look um, on your dipstick. And then the next one is uh, brake fluid. So right here, it'll say max level. And I'll shake it a little bit and we are very full. We're good. So there's max and minimum is your brake fluid. As your brake pads wear down, you go through fluid and that's why it usually is missing. So as far as leaks and stuff go, you should also, you know, check for leaks as you're, you know, checking the fluid. But the main thing to worry about for leaks wise, that are most common is uh, engine oil and um, number one engine oil, and then transmission fluid is rarely. Um, sometimes you get some coolant leaks, but your your main one that you need to stay on top of in my mind is uh, engine oil you'll usually go through about a quart, depending on how, how old the vehicle is, regardless if they have a leak or not, because cars will burn oil too. That's just a normal thing for some, some vehicles. 
uh, even from the factory. And then coolant level, obviously, keep on track. So all of it's important, but if you had two to choose from, coolant and engine oil. So the next tip I'll go over is tire pressures. I don't have a gauge with me, but you just have your gauge and, you know, pop it in. If you guys don't know how to use tire gauge, then I don't know what to say about that. Um, you can look on YouTube on another video. But I usually run tire pressures um, around 40 PSI. And this is a 10 ply tire, so you can go all the way up to 80 if you want. Um, when you're off-roading, it's more like, you know, 15 PSI if you guys air down. So uh, tire pressure, very important. So for the third thing that I would say that you need to be on top of is your safety gear that you have for your trip. Um, so in ours, I have it in this drawer. If I slide this all the way out. So I have my air compressor in case I need it, tools, and then back in there, there's some more tools. And so pretty much just like safety and recovery gear. Also, um, like a strap or a chain to um, get you out of trouble if you don't have a winch and any recovery gear like that. So if you guys use max tracks, um, high lift jack, shovel, all of those things, I think are it's a pretty necessary thing depending on where you're going. So those are my top three. Thanks for watching guys. So this was the pre-trip inspection. Hopefully you liked it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. And if you like this type of video, again, comment and we'll try to get more content like this. See you on the next one.